at least right here in Tennessee. So I thought I'd take a chance to kind of talk about that little variation between the kind of the summer crappie and the winter crappie. You know, here on this lake here in Tennessee, it's almost like there's two different lakes here on Fort Loudon. It's like you got a summer lake and you got a winter lake. What happens is the uh, as you get into winter time, the, uh, the lake levels start to go down and you get into what's called winter pool level. About the beginning of September, the lakes north of here, uh, Cherokee Lake and Douglas Lake, they start to do their winter drawdown first. Alright, so they'll start drawing their lakes down, they'll start pumping that water down towards Fort Loudon. Alright, uh, September, uh, all through the month of September, October, uh, Cherokee Lake, Douglas Lake, they're going to be pumping that water down. So what Fort Loudon has to do is they got to keep moving that water. In other words, if they don't, if they don't generate the water and keep moving and spilling water, then it's going to fill up Fort Loudon. It's going to, it would flood. So along about September and October, you have almost kind of a constant level of flow and that changes things right there. You have this kind of a steady constant flow with the uh, combination of uh, dropping water temperatures, uh, lighting conditions change, and suddenly that changes what the crappie do. And they change their pattern starting about that time. And as you move through uh, November into winter time, it changes even more. And they set it settle in on this winter time pattern once the water levels finally stabilize, which uh, for Fort Loudon, the water really doesn't stabilize until uh, towards the end of uh, November. <clears throat> you know, sometime in November, the water levels will start to be pretty consistent at what you call winter pool level. And uh, depending on the rain that we get and the weather and whatnot, uh, that, that'll persist through, uh, through through spring, you know, until we get back into get ready to go into summer and the water will go back up. So what happens is that changes the crappie. That gives the bank fishermen a chance to get after these little boogers we call crappie. Or as you kind of, them strange guys down in Georgia call them crappy. I don't know why they call them crappy down there. It's just Georgia's different, you know. Georgia's a little different down there. There ain't no doubt about it. So, you know, other things obviously are the weather patterns, you know, so you have to look at that all through the winter and how that affects crappie. At a certain point, you can start to predict when's a good day and when's a bad day to, to go out looking for crappie up from the bank. Uh, you know, the weather patterns obviously play a huge effect on that. The moon phase uh, has a big effect on that. Uh, I mean, a lot of fishermen don't look at the moon phase. I try to look at it a little bit. And I think it does have an effect on uh, feeding patterns of the crappie. So as the water temperatures drop, uh, obviously uh, the metabolism of the crappie is going to change. So it may be less inclined to chase after big baits. It may want to chase something a little smaller, something a little slower. So in the winter time, uh, your whole, really your whole crappie fishing technique can change drastically and become completely different. Um, you know, in the winter time, I think crappie kind of get programmed to feed on different things. They'll be feeding on big shad and stuff like that. They're not going to pass up that meal when it's in front of them. And shad are a big part of the crappie's diet. They feed on the shad a lot. That may be the bulk of their diet. Uh, I just, I don't know, but I do know that in the winter time, <clears throat> For me, they tend to hit smaller baits pretty readily. I mean, some of the crappie jigs that we crappie fishermen fish with are pretty small, you know, and uh, so obviously a little bitty crappie jig doesn't look like a big shad. So crappie are keyed into what I call like smaller aquatic insects, uh, small, smaller fish. So one thing I think that happens in the winter time at a certain point is once that water temperature cools off enough, uh, on those warmer sunny days in the winter it gives a chance for the more shallow water to warm up so you'll find that crappie can it seems kind of weird but they can get in some really shallow water in the winter time and uh, so I think that comes from that little reverse thing where suddenly the shallow water back in the back of these coves with the muddy bottoms 
will will warm up a few degrees and cause some activity with the minnows maybe the aquatic insects whatever's living back in there and in turn the crappie will get back in that slightly warmer water if you got a couple of degrees warmer temperature it's about 60 degrees the water's starting to go down at this level you're back in these shallow coves uh, they're going to get back in there on a good uh, winter day and hang out and mull around and fish for, and, and feed on these small aquatic insects, small fish. Shad will be back in there as well. So uh, that is a neat pattern at that time of year when you can catch the crappie really pretty shallow uh, on those colder winter days, those sunny winter days.